though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. And a lot of these women do not fear the Lord, okay? Especially, you know, it could be your, your own mother that doesn't fear the Lord, okay? But do that mean that you don't love your, your mother, okay? No, we still, we still love our mother, okay? Our mother, you know, they brought us into this world, okay? The, you know, the, 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 the so-called nine months, okay? But, you know, does that over the, override the truth, okay, of what, what the Bible says? No, it's Job 39 and 17. Because God hath, hath deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. Okay, so a lot of these women, okay, don't, they don't have wisdom or understanding, okay, of what, you know, at first off, what the Bible says. Now, the Bible says in um, Proverbs 8 and 4, unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of, of men. Okay, so the Lord is, is dealing with the men, okay, he wants us to come into this truth and to be men, okay, not to be mama's boys. Okay, like this guy is right here. He's mom, a mama's boy. Okay. Um. Continuing on. Um. Ecclesiastes seven and twenty six, and I find more bitter than death the woman. Okay, so a woman I have a child. Okay, and and you know she knows that this is her child. You know, child respects it. Supposed to respect his mother and so on and so forth. Okay, but that woman is still going to put hell on that child. Okay? It says, whose heart is snares and nets. Right? A woman to put that, 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 that father on child support. Right? Trying to get money out of him. Or, or they'll, you know, put their son in, uh, you know, some type of football program and thinking that that's going to toughen them up. Okay? And then as soon as that child... Ends up getting any type of money, she gonna feel like she she she's owed that money. It happened to me. You know, she's gonna feel like she's owed that money. Okay, it says, and her hands is is bands. Who so pleases God, so escape her. I mean, so escape from her. But the sinner shall be taken by her. Okay, and that's one of the things, man. You coming to this truth. You know, your mother, you know, will hold you back. You may be living with your mother, and your mother will make you think, oh, you got to pay these bills, man. If you don't pay these bills, I'm going to get kicked out. Okay, but guess what? That's what the Bible says, man. Women, okay, it wasn't given unto them, you know, to understand wisdom or uh, understanding. Okay, because first and foremost, okay, a woman is, you know, the man is supposed to be taking care of the household. Okay, but America, okay, it puts these women in a position to, to, to rule over men. Okay, so America is the is a major part of the problem. Okay, the, the, the way that this system is set up. Okay, because it gives these women the liberty to gather broad, the liberty to do the things that they do. Okay, and, and, uh, and, and be comfortable. Okay. This is Psalms 51 and 5. Behold, I was shaping in, iniqu in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. So, if the, you know, when you come into this truth, you got to understand that, you know, our mothers, more often than not, they didn't teach us the right right, right thing. Okay? Your mother didn't teach you the right thing. Your, your father is supposed to, you know, lead you on to this truth. Okay? If he, you know, and, and your, your family should, you know, as far as your mother and father... You know, should, should um, help raise you in this truth, man. Okay, but is that the case? No. That's why we got, you know, uh, spiritual fathers and spiritual mothers that are, that are here to, to, to help us, okay, uh, grow in this, this truth, man. Okay? But our mothers, okay, uh, brought us into this world and in, in, in into a fucked up world. Okay? And, and some of them... Have that evil eye towards their, their children. Okay? This is uh, Luke 11 and 27. And it came to pass, 
If she spake these things, talking about Yahweh Shah, the one where it really calls Jesus, a certain woman of the company, right, lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bear you, and the paps which thou hast sucked, basically the breast that, that you have sucked. But he said, Yeah, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Okay? So so that's who we not necessarily uh uh more so care about, but that's who we, we, we put our focus on. Okay, the ones who, who who hear the word of the Lord and they keep the word of the Lord. Okay? You know, for example, like I you know, if I if I uh if I ask my mother what is the Lord's name, right? She she's going to tell me today that the Lord's name is Yahweh Shah, right? Which I do hope that, you know, the Lord has mercy on my mother, okay? But if she don't, man, then that's just how if the Lord don't have mercy, then that's just how how things got to go. You know? But a lot of a lot of parents, mothers, you know, fuck us over. Okay, um, it's Ecclesiastes 13 and uh, 19. It says, give not your son and wife, right, your brother and friend power over you while you livest. Okay, and a, and a lot of guys would, 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 would put it to where their woman is, is above them. Okay, their children are, are above them. Okay. Giving them power, you know, over over their life. It says, "Hey, it says, and give not your goods to another, lest it repent you, and you entreat for the same again." And when you ask for these people, okay, for something in return after you done gave it to them, it's really hard to get that back from them, man. Okay, because those people, you know, you would think that, okay, you're my friend, you're my uh, brother or family member or whatever, whatever the case may be, that you know you could get um, you know that back. You know if if you uh let them borrow something, okay, that they would re repay it back. But it would be really it's really hard for them to do that because they they not really in the mindset of of paying you back in the first place. It says as long as you livest. And have breath in you, give not yourself over to any. For it is better that your children seek to you than that you should stand to their courtesy. Right? So your your uh it's better that if you have a child that your children come to you rather than you going to your uh rather than you going to them. Okay, we we're supposed to go to our mothers, okay, for for or, or fathers for for help on certain things, okay, but more often than not, your mother is gonna come to you <laughs> for certain things, okay, and then when you can't do it, guess what? They mad at you. Okay, it says, and all your works keep to yourself. The preeminence. Okay, what does this word pre preeminence mean? The fact of surpassing all others or superiority. Okay, supremacy. Uh, greatness. Excellence. Distinction. Prominence. Predominance. Okay, importance. Prestige. Okay. So make sure you handling what you have to handle, man. Okay. Especially when it comes down to this truth. Okay? Handle what you you can handle. Okay? What you're supposed to handle. Okay? You're supposed to have have uh 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 people um over you, okay, and, and, and controlling you. Okay? Cause ultimately, if you're in this truth, the Lord is the one who's supposed to be controlling you. Okay? You let the Lord control you, okay? It says, leave not a stain in your honor. At the time when you shall end your days and finish your life, distribute your inheritance. Do we have an inheritance in this society? 
No. Okay. So America is one of the major problems. Okay, that that's in this society. L Luke eight and nineteen. Oh, in this world, I should say the scriptures say the world is given into the hand of the wicked. Luke eight and nineteen. Then came to him his mother and his brethren, and could not come at him for the press. And it was told by certain which said, Your mother and your brethren stand without desiring to see you. And he answered and said unto them, My mother and my brethren are these which hear the word of God and do it. Okay? So this is our mothers and this is our mother and our brethren. Okay, the ones that are doing the work of the Lord. Okay? That that's hearing it and doing it. Okay? Um, Luke 14 and 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, and his own life, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Okay, so a lot of our, um, the stuff that we have, okay, in this, 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 this world, okay, which you don't really have anything, okay, a lot of the problems and the burdens and stuff like that comes from, you know, the fact that there's a lack of father or the, you know, the mother is in our life and, uh, you know, um, you know, having this, um, power over us. But the scripture says you're not supposed to give power over to them. Okay, once you get once you get a certain age, you 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 take that power back, man, and you you worship the Lord, man, and you you uh follow after Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Okay, cause that's that's what this this truth is about. Okay, once again, the scriptures say that you know whosoever pleases the Lord, okay, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh so escape. Her, okay, and that woman is not just talking about you know the women that we deal with, you know. But when you come into this truth, you know, you understand that you know women are the way that they are because that's how the Lord set them up, okay. And you don't want to get taken by them, okay. And and a lot of guys have been taken by their mothers, okay, like this guy right here, okay. You don't. You know, disrespect your mother, or, you know, go out here and go, you know, dishonor your mother, okay? But when it comes down to this, this truth, you know, the Lord comes first, okay? Um, and, and, and also, man, you know, we don't need to go uplift other black women because they got the same mindset. You know, a lot of, a lot of people are, are dead, okay, or in grave, or in the grave because of, of women, Okay, once again, the scriptures say I find more bitter than death the woman. Okay? Whether it's your mother, your grandmother, whoever. Okay? And a lot of these guys be, be sitting up here trying to, you know, say all this stuff to try to get, you know, women. And don't even be getting women, man. You know, they probably getting money or whatever, but, you know, that shit don't mean nothing, man, at the end of the day. You know? Because all this stuff is going, going to come to naught and the Lord is going to put order for uh, how it's supposed to be. Okay? But, you know, with that, man, um, I want to say uh, Salawam.